Hi, this is Derek from Mayday Parade. You're tuning to Hit the Floor. Hello, it's Steph from Hit the Floor magazine. I'm in Yeovil with Derek from Mayday Parade. Hi, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Doing great, having a good time. Cool. Um, so, tell me an interesting fact about yourself. Um, uh, have long hair. I do have long hair, uh, and I don't plan on cutting it for a little while. I might try and do the full uh, 10 inches and do a locks of love thing, maybe we'll oh, see. But You should grow a big massive moustache as well. That's what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. That's what we're all doing. We're, we actually right now, everyone except for Brooks, we're all doing, we started doing moustaches for a little bit, for a few weeks. So. Not for charity or just for the sake of looking cool? Just for the sake of doing it, yeah. Good, yeah. I like it. I like that you've got glasses on too. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we, we need to be geeks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, you gotta, you gotta you know, support it. I wear contacts on stage, but sometimes I'm lazy and just do the glasses. So. I can't get on with contacts. They annoy yeah. me. Like, I look up and they fall out. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll co talk about normal things. <laughs> um, how has your day been so far, between one and productive? Um, it's been great. We, uh, it's, it's been kind of busy. Well, we woke up this morning and uh, drove from Bournemouth here um, and got here, went and got some food. Came here, got everything set up, um, and then for the last hour we've just been kind of sitting around, hanging out, doing nothing. So, uh, Have you had a chance to look around Yeovil? I don't know if there's really much here. I'm not really, don't, I'm not from here. Well, we, um, I guess there's nothing around, right around this venue here, but we went down to uh, where the the orange box is. We've been down there a yeah, few times, right. and uh, so we went down there, walked around for a little bit, got some food. They went to Starbucks and all that. We go to Starbucks like several times a day. I don't ever get anything, but they all, they all have to have it every two hours. <laughs> I'll just stay awake. I, I guess, I suppose. I don't know. Do you not sleep? Do I? Do they? Yeah. Uh, I, I suppose. I, they're saying no. <laughs> He's saying no. Okay. <laughs> um, right. What's your, we're going to do this thing. What's your porn star name? I don't know if you've played it before. No? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Right. What's the, the, what, what's the uh, your first ever pet's name? I actually, yeah, I know this one. It's going to yeah. be, it's going to be, my, my porn star name would be Weenie Landing, which See? is kind you of... You already know the game. I, I know, yeah, yeah. My, it's weird that my, my first cat I ever had, his name was Weenie, and, um... <laughs> Any particular reason? Weenie? Um, it's just the... Anything was small? <laughs> it was, I was really young, uh, and, well, actually, I think I, I first named him something else, and then my dad just started calling him Weenie, and then eventually everybody would just turn, his name transformed into Weenie. And he was my favorite cat. I loved him. He was Aww. awesome. He'd play. He would play the piano whenever he wanted to go outside. <laughs> He'd jump on the piano bench and hit a piano key and come pick him, bring him outside. He was That's a, a really cat. talented cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would only drink out of the sink, uh, the running water out of the sink. He wouldn't. He wouldn't drink water out of bowls. He'd hit him up on the counter and make you turn the sink on and drink out of the running sink water. I'm in like amazement. I love <laughs> cats. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I called my cat Stumpy after Patrick Stump. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I told him. Nice. He was a bit freaked out by it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, right, so obviously your new album came out in like, March over here. How do you think it's been received while we've been playing it over here? We're good? Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, we, we do uh, two songs from the new album on this tour, and uh, yeah, the response seems really cool, and uh, just overall, all of it is, has been good, and, and you know, we're just happy to have the album out, and uh, you know, we love it, and we're, we're just you know, happy that it's been going pretty well so far, and uh, yeah. Um, obviously, it's your third album. I'm mm -hmm. um, just a bit curious why you, you self-titled it. Obviously, normally it bands self-title the first album. Is there a reason you did that? Did you not think of a name in time? Or well, it was just a combination of things. But you know, a lot of it is kind of a statement of, uh, you know, just this is who we are now. I, okay, really, to to go back on it, uh, whenever we made our second album, anywhere but here. We um, just basically kind of made a lot of compromises along the way to make the label happy and, you know, wound up with an album that we didn't care about as much or believe in as much. So for this one, you know, we kind of we learned from from doing that album that way that we wanted to just go in, make the album that we wanted to make. Okay. And, and we didn't even show any label or anybody until the album was completely finished, you know, and I think that's. It's really important for us, you know what I mean, to to go in and make the album that we want to make, and um, so yeah, and you know, like you know, we've all just, uh, you know, a lot of things have changed over the last few years for us uh, being in this band, and I feel like we're just at a new comfortable place now, and we know who we are and what we want as a band, and uh, so it's just you know, kind of a statement of that with the self-titled album, yeah. Okay, cool. What's your favorite song on the album? I think it's uh, "Without the Bitter." The sweet isn't as sweet. It's my favorite. Yeah. Did, is it the one that's best received, do you think? Or is it just a personal favourite of yours? Probably not. I mean, <laughs> people... <laughs> I totally wish we'd got that. He just got his belly out on camera. <laughs> Should have, like, t turn around do it. Go, go, go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you 
should have been well, in the shot and he could have played the game. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, okay, carry on. Um, well, it's probably not the, 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 I mean, I don't know, that's hard to say. A lot of people seem to like that one, but it's not the most popular, I don't think, but, yeah. Okay, I can't read my own writing. Oh, apart from any um, other tours, like coming over here for Slam Dunk, you come over for festival. Any other festivals you're doing? Or just a Slam Dunk? You can't tell me. Uh, well, as, as of now, yeah, it's just Slam Dunk is the only thing that I know of, but I would, I would love to, I mean... All the festivals that we've done over here have, have been wonderful, so I'd love to come back and do some more. Yeah. Um, so you did Slam Dunk last year. Mm -hmm. Are you planning on like a different stage, or is it going to be bigger? Do you think, or you don't really know the I situation know. yet? I, I don't really know, honestly. Yeah, I'm not sure. But either way, it'll be cool. It was great last time, and yeah. how do you think you're going to top it from last year? Because last year was good. I was there. I remember. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll we'll just have to get your belly out try on stage. and come up with. Yeah, maybe I'll just belly dancing on stage. We'll see. Yeah, that would that be a good idea? I'm, I'm pumped for all the bands on Slam Dunk. I, I, I the lineup is is awesome this mm. year. So, <laughs> anything else you want to add? Anything you want to say to your fans? Um, really, just yeah. Thanks for the support. Um, this is our fifth time coming over to the UK, and uh, it gets better every time. And uh, just thanks for anybody who's come to the show or listened to the band or whatever. It just means a lot. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.